Hello guys, this is the 2023 Genesis G70. It is finished in Tasman blue and it does look very good. Honestly, it looks like a black color, but this blue looks amazing. Anyways guys, this G70 is equipped with the 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder engine. There is a 3.3 turbocharged V6, but let's go ahead and take this Genesis G70 on a POV test drive and see how it does. Alright, so here is the interior of this 2023 Genesis G70. So, the G70 is my favorite Genesis sedan. I really don't like the way how the G80 looks like. I love the way how the G70 looks like, but I really wish that, Honda, uh, that Genesis changes the way how uh, this G70 looks like from the inside because it does feel very dated. But from the outside, I think they did a great job. They kept it looking nice and fresh. But from the inside, I feel like they need to do a little bit more work. Here is the backup camera. Backup camera resolution is right. I think the Hyundai Elantra, the 2023 Elantra SEL I drove before this G70 has a little bit better backup camera. There is a 10.25 inch screen. There's an eight inch LCD screen right there. The left is analog. But let's go ahead and take this Genesis G70 on a drive and see how it does. I have to say, I do prefer the 3.3 twin turbocharged V6 more than this 2.0. But this 2.0 is very nice. It is nice and responsive. But uh, I'll go ahead and talk about the engine more when I hop on the highway but yeah overall the design from the inside looks okay but the outside looks seriously amazing I really love what Genesis did with the headlights and taillights and uh, this thing definitely stands out and it looks nice and sporty but at the same time it is nice and luxury very nice and responsive and it does feel very nice and light which I like as I said there is like a 10 there is a 10.25 inch screen 8 inch screen this thing's this thing feels definitely nice light and responsive sitting position is perfect windows are nice and big the mirrors are nice and big we're gonna be taking this G70 on the highway and we'll see how it does there is eco comfort sport sport plus and custom we're gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode the steering wheel becomes a little bit heavy oh yeah this 2.0 is very responsive this Genesis G70 has an 8 speed automatic transmission handling is very very good as I said very nice and responsive when you put this car in um, sport mode, it sounds good. And I think it does have a little bit of that fake noise coming from the speakers, but not a lot, which I like. So it's there, but it's not that much. Driving on the highway, very nice and quiet inside, but I'm hearing a little bit of whistling noise a noise coming from the mirror but it's gone now so a very quiet cabin nice and responsive anyways this Genesis has the 2.0 turbocharged four-cylinder engine and it is connected to an all-wheel drive system and connected to this eight-speed automatic transmission 
The eight-speed automatic transmission is nice and responsive. There's some paddle shifters behind the steering wheel so you could control your gears. Nothing crazy, but nice and responsive. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could slow down a tiny bit here and downshift to the second gear. Oh yeah, transmission is definitely good, but this engine is, it's definitely good and powerful, but nothing crazy. So it doesn't really push you back to the seat that much, unlike the 3.3 turbocharged V6. So this engine produces 252 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque connected to this beautiful, quick, responsive eight-speed automatic transmission. This Genesis G70 has all the nice safety features, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, steering assist, emergency braking, blind spot monitoring system, and rear cross traffic. So a ton of nice safety features in this Genesis G70. This is the Sport Prestige package, so it does add a good amount of things like cold seats, wireless uh, phone charger, and the 19 inch rims and the lexicon sound system and uh, the wide panorama uh, wide sunroof and a few other things but i am very impressed with the way how it handles feels nice and light the engine is good i really wish it had a little bit more power a little bit more torque uh, but definitely not bad good eight speed automatic transmission climate controls look right cold seats and heated seats three stages each heated steering wheel and uh, as I said there's paddle shifters behind the steering wheel steering wheel design looks alright the steering wheel is a little bit on the thinner side I really wish it was a little bit more thick and um, I really like this tan or white interior I think it does look good definitely brightens up the interior the steering wheel is nice and light especially around parking lots it is very nice and light and that helps a lot with driving this car around tight places nice and quiet the suspension setup is very good this thing is very comfortable by the way you could control the driver's seat um, the passenger seat from here which is of course a nice uh, thing Apple CarPlay Android Auto uh, Apple CarPlay fills the whole screen which is nice that 10.25 inch screen I really wish that Genesis gets rid of the split gauges not really my favorite so the right side is a an LCD screen and the left is analog yeah this transmission shifts very quick and this thing keeps pulling which I like so 252 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque are enough but sometimes when you catch this car in the wrong speed and wrong gear it feels like it's a little bit lazy and I feel like the transmission needs to downshift the I'm not a big fan of the steer, uh, the uh, link keeping assist, it is very aggressive. The steering assist button is right here, but yeah, I'm not really big fan of the link keeping assist. I believe it was a button right here. I'm not exactly sure how to turn off the link keeping assist, but. Um, yeah, overall, such a beautiful car. Offers a lot of features. And um, I really like the rims on this G70. I think Genesis did a great job with them. They're nice and sporty. And uh, I believe they are only on the Sport Prestige package, which this one has. And I believe the package is 4900 so almost $5,000. MPGs are okay. I think they could be a little bit better on this 2.0. 20 in the city, 28 highway, and 23 combined. 
I know this is a luxury brand, but I think Genesis could have done a little bit more, uh, a little bit better with the MPGs. So as I said, this Genesis has all the nice safety features, adaptive cruise control, link keeping assist, steering assist, emergency braking, blind spot monitoring system, road cross traffic. Let's go ahead and turn on the steering assist. It is active. The car is driving by itself. It will keep a distance between me and the truck in front of me. So you could set the gap distance by this button right here. There's four car gap distance, three, two, or one. Very nice system and I really like it. I really wish that this engine had a little bit more power. I really wish that sport mode was a little bit better. I really wish that in sport mode this car is more aggressive. But definitely a nice comfortable sedan. And um, I believe if you guys get the 3.3 turbocharged v6 it will come with electronically controlled uh, suspension i don't think this one has it as i said the steering wheel is nice and light but again guys i'm not a big fan of the split design gauge design i think that genesis could just make it all um lcd there's shortcuts right here. If you want to go straight to the maps, you could do that. Genesis system is nice and responsive. I like to keep it on Apple CarPlay. Fan speed, everything just looks too big for my taste. I really don't like the design. There's a wireless charger, 112 volt, 20 USB, two cup holders, nice and big. So for instance, this acceleration, I needed a little bit more power, but the car was confused. It didn't really give me the power I needed. So I really wish that this car, I really wish that Genesis fixes the transmission, the response. I'm not sure if it's a turbo, transmission, engine, needs maybe more torque, but my GoPro turned off. But anyways, guys, this G70 is very good very comfortable I really like the seats I really like um, the outside of it interior could use a little bit of fixing but overall it is such a beautiful car but it just needs a little bit more power so this 2.0 is not really my favorite the 3.3 is a really good engine and I recommend going for the 3.3 if you guys like aggressive driving and you like more power but this thing is beautiful, comfortable, but I think Genesis just needs to fix the interior of this G70. But I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive with this 2023 Genesis G70 2.0. And if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Sam here at Genesis of Milford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.